How's it going YouTube? Michael here. Today's going to be a video about Feathercoin. Um, I've looked into Bitcoin and Litecoin and Feathercoin and PP coin and China coin and th there's a thousand different coins out there. But anyway, I'm tr um, I've chosen to uh, mine Feathercoin because it has the highest possibility, I think, of uh, becoming profitable in the future. Um, it is new though and the creators of it probably stuffed millions away in their accounts so that when it does become something worth something, uh, they'll be able to make themselves rich off of it. But I mean, I don't know, I'm taking the chance that maybe, maybe uh, it will be profitable in the future and maybe uh, I can cash in at some point. But anyway, um, I would typically be mining Bitcoin right now if I wanted to actually make some money, but um, anyway, uh, Feathercoin currently with my rig would bring in about a hundred bucks a month, opposed to Bitcoin, which would bring in close to closer to two hundred. Um, I hash at one thousand two hundred hashes a second. I'm using dual seven nine fifties, and I'll show you my rig in a minute. But uh, first, I want to show you uh, the pool I've joined and a few other things. Hey guys, sorry this isn't focusing. I don't know why, but anyway, here's the pool I joined. It is a Feathercoin Pool Geek. I don't know, if you just type that in, you'll find it. Uh, currently, it says my hash is 1,012, but it's wrong. No, now it says 834. Uh, today, the pool's been screwy, and like it's been jumping around all over the place, and I keep connecting and disconnecting. But anyway, uh, I don't know. I'll probably put up with this for a couple more days, and if it continues to do this, I might have to just switch pools. But uh, anyway, uh, my unpaid valid shares uh, are 31,666. Um, and my paid shares are 5,787. Now, I don't know if that's good or not because um, I already cashed in what I made, which was the uh, 5,787 shares. And I only got 3.464161 feather coins. Uh, so here's my wallet here, but the um, uh, that was after one whole night of run, well, like 24 hours pretty much of running. So um, I should be making a bit more. Uh, I should be making between 50 to 60 feather coins a day. But oh well, uh, I'll put up with this for a couple more days, and if it continues to do this, then I will switch pools. Um, currently the the miners in my pool are 100 and well actually we have 263 workers and 129 miners uh, this number is tripled or quadrupled like in two days and I think that's why the server has been acting weird so anyway uh, I'll go show you guys all right now. so I'm gonna have to speak up a bit since uh, this thing's freaking loud I had it running in my room to start out with but uh, yeah I can't do with that noise. Um, anyway, I built it in a Cooler Master half uh, XB, and it's basically it's mainly open air, as you can see. Like I took the both side panels off, and uh, even the top off. And I had a uh, 200 millimeter fan on the top, but uh, it wasn't doing a sufficient job in cooling. So yeah, I had a, it. It actually does way better without it. Um, right there is a 120 millimeter like uh, industrial fan that I pulled out of an old Dell, and I had to hook up to a uh, AC power brick there because uh, it runs at like I can't remember maybe two amps. And then um, I got dual 7950s, and I actually have to have that fan to keep these things cool because. Uh, even with two spaces apart, it um, they both overheated. Well, they got to about 95, and they probably would have went further if I let them, but obviously I wasn't going to let that happen. It shouldn't even be anywhere close to 90 degrees Celsius. So anyway, I installed this fan. Now my temps are way better. Um, I'll just go over the specs real quick, though. Uh, I got 8 gigs of... Uh, DDR3 at 1866 megahertz and 
the timings are like 9, 8, 9, uh, 28, I think. But uh, they're not running at that. They're running at 1,600 megahertz um, because I'm using an AM3 processor and not an AM3+. Plus. Uh, this is a Phenom 2 X4, um, 3.4 gigahertz, uh, 965, uh, yeah, 965 Phenom 2, uh, quad core. And there's a Cooler Master uh, fan over there that I added uh, because it pushes a lot of air. It's a sickle flow fan. I actually, I love the sickle flow fans. I'm running three in my uh, setup upstairs, my gaming rig. Um, they push a lot more air than conventional fans that I've used. Um, here's a just a standard CD-ROM. Uh, I don't know. And uh, in there, you can't see it because I have crap lighting, but there are removable drive bays for hard drives. And currently I'm running two Corsair um, Force GTs. <laughs> SSDs, uh, two 60 gig SSDs, running them in both RAID 0 together, and it's, um, they're both 60 gigs, I think I said that already, but anyway, so running in RAID 0 will make them 120 gig all together, they'll be running together, and they will be running faster together that way. So I can boot up into Windows in like 5 seconds. Um, I also got two 7950s, which I've already said, but they are the Gigabyte um, I can't really show you this side. You can't really see, but anyway, they are both triple fan cards, and I thought that would really help, but not really, <laughs> since I really need this thing in there, and I can't run a third card in the middle, because with these particular uh, graphics cards, see, I had to buy longer crossfire cables. Because uh, the ones that it came with would only allow me to install the cards right next to each other. And when they were installed right next to each other, they heated it up way too quick. Because these particular fans have to suck the air in. And then it like blows up through the top and out through the back or whatever. And when that card is right next to it, it can't suck in any cool air. And it can't stay cool at all. So, I don't know. Triple fan cards, not really a good option. Probably should have went with a single fan one because I've seen people mine with those and they mine just fine. <clears throat> Alright. So, here's my temperature. Unfortunately, like I said, the pole's been acting weird and it's been starting and stopping and all this other crap. But, uh... uh Alright. You can't really see that at all. Anyway. 63 uh, degrees on the first GPU and 63 on the second GPU as well. Uh, they will get up to, they'll hit peaks at 67 um, if they're just constantly mining, but uh, they never really go above that and they stay around 65. And here is, well I'm using GUI Miner as my script miner. I'm using GUI Miner script alpha. Uh, 0.4 or 0.0.4, something like that. Uh, anyway, the latest version. Currently, I'm running at eight, 484 hash for the second card and 464 hash for the first card. Um, that's not very good at all, considering that when they run at full speed, they run at about close to 600 apiece. But uh, yeah. This is just what I've been dealing with today. Yesterday was different, but uh, we'll see. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching.